Happy Wednesday. I can't believe it's already been a week since I talked to you guys or since you listened to me, but I appreciate it totally. And I find time a valuable thing, so I appreciate that you take your time to watch my videos. Um, it's actually what I wanted to talk about this week was time and yeah, I started writing down what I wanted to say so I didn't forget what I wanted to say or say it out of order in something a way that didn't make sense. So also every video I make is about how I feel you can relate or you can not relate. Um, but you can even agree or disagree, but my feelings are my feelings. I'm right to have them. And just because you don't agree or feel it too, doesn't make me wrong. Time is so valuable. None of us know how long we will be here for, and I've been starting to realize how precious time is these days and how I can spend it in a way that I won't regret when I'm older. I so enjoy time with myself and with my mind. I value it. I feel as if we are a generation that is never alone with our minds because there are so many distractions and ways to keep in touch with friends, people we don't really know but still like to admire, and music and sounds are everywhere. It's totally awesome to see the way people live their lives because it can inspire us to have bigger dreams and bigger goals because we want to be where they're at. But there comes a point where we need to stop getting distracted and stop paying attention to their lives and start paying attention to our lives. We are so much more valuable than we give ourselves credit for and I feel like we really need to take some time in silence to realize who we are and what we really want. My social media break was a big eye-opener. I realized how much time I spent on all my apps when I could be making plans about my future, plans to make, plans to see friends, um, making time for amazing adventures, and taking videos that lasted a lot longer than 10 seconds. Most importantly, I would constantly look at my phone when someone was trying to have a conversation with me, which I feel is so rude and I should have appreciated them sharing their precious valuable time with me and giving them my full attention because that's what I want them to do with me. Some things I do to make sure I appreciate my own time here are waking up early and before I look at my phone I sit in silence for 20 to 30 minutes and sometimes I have a pen and paper so I can write down an idea I'm having or draw a picture or anything that's on my mind that I feel like I need to get out. I don't get on my social media nearly as much as I used to. When I'm driving, I usually turn the music off and drift into my thoughts and ideas. It's a great time to have silence because you shouldn't be on your phone anyway, so that shouldn't be a distraction. And I'm guilty of it, but I've stopped because it's not safe. It's not safe for other people on the road. And especially after my mom told me to watch fatal car accidents on YouTube, it is just, I just don't want to be one of those videos. I try to read and put new stories and ideas in my mind and give myself something to do besides looking at a screen all, screen all the time. I usually go to the movies by myself once a week or take myself out to dinner because if I don't show myself that I can take time to appreciate myself and respect myself, how can I ever expect someone to show me that they respect me in my time or appreciate me at a level that I deserve? I hope you all appreciate and respect yourselves because you are amazing and you deserve it. You don't deserve to be treated any other way than perfect, and if you aren't treated that way, just remember that you have the power and the choice to get out of that situation and make new friends and just new relationships. So I'll see you next week, and I hope you all have a great week.